I'm here with the jiu-jitsu therapist, Eugene. He, by the way, guys, I don't know if you guys know this, but we do a podcast together, and he is the co-host of the podcast. So if you ever listen to the Jiu-Jitsu podcast, which is available on iTunes and all, and Spotify and Stitcher and all those places you listen to them, you can listen to me and Eugene talk to really interesting people. Now, on to the question. We got a question from Stephanie who's wanting to drill, but she says that you know some of the people in her gym don't really like the idea of drilling. It doesn't seem that fun to her, to them. And so she's wondering if there's a way to kind of combine the drill so that both people get something to do and it's more of in a flowing state. She words it a little bit differently, but she's basically saying you know where you can give, I'll do something and then they do something and we can keep going so it's more fun and makes people want to drill. So Stephanie, thank you so much for the question. And I have a couple drills I'm going to share with you today. I have a ton of different drills that I do like this with the class, um, but I call them repeating drills or, you know, and a lot of times they work where they kind of cycle through. A really basic one that I do with all my white belts is called a scissor sweep hip escape drill. It's a great drill that gives us a couple different things, okay? So it'll start from full guard, of course, and we'll go in, do our grips for our scissor sweep, right? We're going to get our sleeve. If you've seen my scissor sweep video, then you know to check the time. It's scissor sweep time and it's sweep. Now, here's the drill that, the reason I sort of came up with this drill is, here's what happens a lot of times with white belts, they just give up. They just let go and then the person gets to mount and then they want to escape. So I started doing this drill with my guys where as soon as they hit the ground, they've got one free hand. He's gonna lock his arm out and push against my hip. So now I'm not able to secure a mount. From here, he's gonna regain his guard, boom, pulls it in. Now he's gonna do the same thing to me. So he's gonna go here, hip escape, Boom, sweep, right, knocks me over. Now, as soon as he's here, he's got this arm, but this hand's free, lock the arm out. As he comes up, he's not gonna be able to secure his hip position, and now I can hip escape out, regain my full guard, and then we repeat, right? And what this is doing is, one, they're getting a good sweep, good fundamental sweep. You can do this with any sweep, right? But a good fundamental sweep. But then they're also getting the muscle memory of not giving up, not just laying back and letting someone come up on top of you, but fighting the whole time. Now, another example that maybe is a little bit more in depth, a little bit more to it, I'm gonna take my back, is we would start maybe from back mount, okay? So he gets a basic back mount position, okay? And again, I'll go ahead and escape in some fashion. There's a lot of different escapes. Pick the one that you like. We'll say I come down here and maybe I get over top here and drive my shoulders down. Once I come in, I'll scoot over the top, turn, come up to the guard. Now, from here, I'll do some sort of guard break. Bang, break the guard over, pass the guard. As I'm passing, he might you know, come up to a turtle position, take the back. After I take the back, he's gonna do the same thing. He's gonna escape, shoulders down, comes up into the guard, boom. Does his guard break, bang, passes the guard. I'm gonna turtle, allow him to go in and take the back and then we just continue to cycle through. So now we're getting a lot of reps in. And so that's a basic idea. Now you can just use that idea and run wild with it, but the basic idea of it, Stephanie, is that you're taking moves and then just to combine them together. And now that takes a little bit of thinking because you have to figure out, well, how do these things connect? Um, but that's a really basic way to do it. it the scissor sweep hip escape drill is a great one, um, and that would probably be the best idea, but depending on your game, you might want to just throw different things in. So. A lot of different ways you can go about that. I'm really hyper tonight. I feel like I'm hyper. Do I feel like I'm hyper? I feel yeah, like I'm you're talking, on it, man. I feel like I'm talking a mile a minute, but I'm pumped up, uh, pumped up because we had a good training class tonight. But anyway, Stephanie, that's it. Try something that out. Try that idea. Run with it. I hope this video helps. Thank you so much for the question. Adam? <laughs> we need Adam back. Where is Adam? He's too, bu he's too busy out there like making babies and stuff. Adam, come back to me. <laughs> See you. Watching this, come back to me.